What's up, YouTube? This is Josh coming at you. We got the June 2023 pickups. Stay tuned. So welcome back, you guys. So like I said, June 2023, very small month. The smallest month of pickups I've had in a long time. And uh, that was for a reason, because coming up here in the month of July, next week actually from when I'm recording this, we're going to Southeast Game Exchange. So we wanted to save a little bit of money in order to go down there and uh, have some fun hunting around at our first ever convention. First ever video game convention, anyway. What do we got to drink for this video? We've got an okay beer for an okay pickup video. This one is the okay beer from Okasum. Okosum, I may be pronouncing it wrong. Uh, this is a beer from Poland. I saw this uh, in one of my local liquor stores in their import section and I thought, hey, what the heck, it wasn't super expensive. It was something worth trying out. And I've actually enjoyed it. This is uh, the last of a four pack of these that I got. This one comes into us at 5.6% ABV. This is on the can, it says it's a pale beer. It's basically a, 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 a lager, a 5.6% um, lager from Okosum Brewery in Poland. As I said, probably already said that before. I don't know, I'm blathering on here. Sorry about that if I am. It's actually a pretty tasty beer though. It's very, it's got kind of like an earthy kind of flavor to it. You can see how, how clean and clear the beer looks. It's not a very malty beer. So it's definitely got a different different flavor to it than a, a lot of other beers I've had. I don't know. I'm enjoying it though. If you guys see it around, check it out. You might enjoy it yourself. If you're looking for something that's just like a clean, crisp kind of flavor to it, nothing crafty or flashy, and you're sick of drinking Miller Lite or Bud Light or whatever kind of domestic light beer you're drinking, check that one out. So the pickups for the month that we have here uh, like I said, very small. We got some thrift shop pickups, a couple different thrift shop pickups. We had one yard sale pickup, um, something from GameStop, and a one uh, eBay pickup, actually. So without further ado, let's get into this. So we'll get into the, the thrift shop pickups um, before we do anything else. I don't find a lot at the thrifts anymore. It's been bone dry everywhere I go, it seems like. This stack of games I got right here, I got these, and you're gonna look at the titles and go, what the hell did you buy those for? It's all a bunch of crap titles, and they are a bunch of crap titles, but they were so cheap, and the cases are pristine. So we got a copy of MVP Baseball 2005. It's a greatest hits copy, it was complete. I'm not gonna open all these up and show them to you, but the, ca the cases on these are just in fantastic shape, and that's the reason I picked them up. I got this whole lot of games for 75 cents a piece, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, a 360 title, Tiger Woods 10, NCAA, NCAA 08 um, cases, once again, the, re it's the whole reason I bought it. And we got six Xbox, ti Xbox titles. Good Lord, I can't speak in this video. We got six original Xbox titles. And the, the boxes, are they still have like the, some of them still have the, uh, the Xbox sticker on the side from when you open them up, but they're just so clean. And you can't find a lot of times uh, good original Xbox games. We had Rugby 06, Madden 06, Madden 08, NCAA 07, Torino Olympics 2006, and a Breeders' Cup uh, racing championship. These are all, like I said, crap games, but especially the original Xbox. For 75 cents, I was like, dude, I've got some games that I would like to do a case swap on, and these are perfect, perfect victims for a case swap. So, like I said, can't go wrong with that price at all. I did pick up some, some a little bit better games at a different thrift shop though am I look the one thrift shop I'm still finding some games at but the goodwills and stuff I'm not finding a damn thing at anymore got a strategy guide there for a couple bucks at uh one of my local thrifts for Bioshock and I've played through and I've beat this game before but I'm a sucker for these things when I see them and they're in decent shape and this was a nice one we've got a PS3 game we got Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors 7 thought that was worth picking up for two bucks the, uh, the case on this one actually needed a swap, so I already did a case swap on that one. So we got a brand spanking new game for $3. We got Pac-Man Championship Edition for the PlayStation 4. Still sealed up. It's not, not really worth a lot, but I thought, hey, it's one that looks like it had some fun versions of Pac-Man on it that would be cool to play. We got a Wii game. We got The Conduit. This is a uh, first-person shooter. I've never played it before. I've seen people talk about it, and I uh, figured I'd check it out, take it for a spin, see if I like it or not. We got a uh, small stack of five PlayStation 2 games right here. We got Pac-Man World Rally. Pretty sure all these were complete. 
this is pretty fun. My daughter and I were already playing this. It's a it's just a standard kart racing game, but with Pac-Man and his characters. I had, I had a good time playing it. We got Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. This one I probably wouldn't have picked up, even though they were only two, three dollars a piece. But uh it has the manual, but it's got a greatest hits disc inside a normal box. But the box, it looks like somebody like cut the uh the, the corner of the spine right there. So I probably would have left it behind even for that. Cause but it, it's one that I've seen other people talk about. I've never played it before, so I wanted to check it out. So what the hell? We got a good one here with Tekken 5. Really great shape. This one almost looks like a brand new copy of the game. Dynasty Warriors 3, another one in great shape. I haven't seen too many discs uh, with for the PlayStation 2 that have these white um, trim at the bottom of the disc. Most of the time they're like a black or a different color. I don't know if it's because maybe this was a darker colored disc, but I can't think of maybe only ever seeing one other game that had that on it. So I thought it was kind of neat. Once again, super clean, super clean copy. And a copy of Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King complete as well. This was the uh, last of these Lord of the Rings games from that generation of consoles that I needed and that I wanted to check out. So for yard sale pickups, I picked up, uh, was flying around. I don't do too well at yard sales. I know some of you folks out on YouTube, you like, you crush it at yard sales, man. You're getting, you find such good stuff. I don't really even find anything most of the time. Very rare, it feels like to me anyway. But came across a guy, he had a bunch of PS3 games. Unfortunately, I only needed two of them of the ones that he had for sale. Um, so I, I snatched them up, but these were $3 a piece. The first one was Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. Nice, clean, complete copy. Not sure if that'll be one that I'll keep or not, or I want to check it out, play it, and see if I like it or not, and we'll see. This one was definitely a keeper, though. We got a copy of Rock Band 3. This was 3 bucks, like I said. So this is like a almost $30 game. It's in between 25 and 30 bucks. And my daughter loves the Rock Band game, so I was like, no-brainer right there. I'm not spending 25 30 bucks for it, but if I can get it for 3 bucks so she could play it, add it to the PS3 collection, fantastic. I picked this up for $2 at a yard sale as well. And it's just a um, standard, um, it did not have all these games inside of it. I just have them in there just to show you because I have them stored. It's a cassette tape holder, but it fit all my, a lot of my loose uh, Genesis games in it. So that's the reason I wanted it. I've been looking for it. I wish I could find a couple more. I think I, I probably have enough to fill one more of these so I could find another one. That would be pretty cool. But for $2, man, that's awesome. And it keeps them dust, dust free and a little more organized looking, you know? From GameStop this month, I used my $5 Pro Rewards coupon on a retro game, sort of. It's a Wii U game. Yoshi's Woolly World, nice complete copy of that as well. Was one, this was one that I've been looking for. There was a cut, there's two or three other Wii U games that I really want to add to my collection that I don't have. This was one of them. Um, I don't have a complete set. I'm not going for a complete set, but certain games I would like to have to play, and this was one. So I was glad to get that, and I got it for like $11, I think, after it took the 5 bucks, It was like 15 bucks. They took the 5 off, paid taxes, so it was like $10.60, $10.75, whatever it was. The last thing I got was an eBay pickup, and uh, I wouldn't have, I, I really wasn't looking to buy anything off of eBay, but I can't, finally, I've been looking for this for probably two years, three years now. And uh, I came across a reasonably priced and in good condition copy. I already had the game and the manual and all the extra little inserts that came with this game here. And I wanted a box and I've been looking for a box forever. And this one is a nice, nice condition box. Um, is it flawless? No, there's a few little dingages on it, but all in all, it's a great display box for me. And I've been looking for it. I uh, can't afford the variant. Um, that would have been cool, but this one was one that I've really been looking for. I'm still looking for a couple of other boxes, too, for Super Nintendo games like that. Record for a pickups video from this guy right here. You guys, like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, everybody, cheers.